If you ever dreamt of beginning your architecture adventure in Germany, you're in the right place. Today, we have an exciting topic for you that I'm sure that many of you are eager to explore. In this video, we will be diving into the secrets of finding incredible architecture internships in Germany. Please welcome to our channel, Way Out With Us. My name is Jayati. My name is Shubham. And as passionate architects ourselves, we are thrilled to share with you our knowledge and experiences with you all. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Hmm. Well, Jethi, let's start by making our viewers understand why doing an architecture internship in Germany could be a game changer for their career. Germany is a hub of architecture innovation, sustainability and design excellence. Well, working here can open your doors to extraordinary opportunities and can help you grow not only professionally but also personally. Well, as an architect, initially doing internships could be the stepping stones to success. Well. If you're someone who's looking for an internship or if you have already found one, be ready for the real world experiences and a chance to witness some groundbreaking European projects. Internships in Germany is an exceptional idea. Not only are you going to earn a decent salary, but also you'll have the opportunity to travel tremendously. And the exposure that you'll gain here would be second to none. And with this, the new phrase that you're going to learn from this video will be second to none. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of how to find these wonderful opportunities. The first step would be on doing thorough research onto what kind of architect you want to be in future and what all softwares interest you the most. Allow us to introduce you to a search engine called Google, which is an excellent resource for you to get started. Let me give you an insight of how to find an architecture firm. Well, you simply go to the Google and type in the city or the country where you want to move and simply search for the architecture offices in that city and boom! Go through multiple offices and see what suits you the best. As a next step, you simply apply on their company website portal or any job portal if there is one or directly send your CV and portfolio attached to your email to their HR or to the company's email stating clearly in the description regarding the duration of your desired internship. That's pretty much it. So now, once you have some idea regarding the kind of offices that fall into your niche, it's time for you to fabricate a portfolio. Well, Shubham, let me highlight it for them. There are two ways of looking at it. One, what you like, basically you firm believer of your personal style and that's how you want to showcase your portfolio. Number two, what the office would like, well, rather do it that way. Well, mostly what you like might not be what the office like, but what office like must be something that you should like. <laughs> Let me simplify it. In order to excel in our corporate professional career, we all need to understand that we have to make a compromise on our limited mindset and if not limited, our one directional mindset and adapt as per the need of the hour. Many people would say, keep it unique, be you and things like that. But that's one way of looking at it. Hence, we would draw the suggestion to be practical first, be there, reach there, adapt to the changes and then when given an opportunity, express your personal style. Therefore, be very selective and do a thorough research of the architecture firms that you're interested in. Understand their philosophy, look into their recent work and align your portfolio accordingly. Remember, you just don't want to stand out. You should fit perfectly into their working environment. That should be your goal. We have personally talked to multiple firm owners in Germany and in Netherlands. And here are some reference examples or the things that you could take care while designing your portfolio. The first and most important thing is snapping. Make sure all your text and images align and snap to the other pages in your portfolio so there are no images jumping while someone scrolls through your work. The next thing is grid. Follow a grid, keep spacing equal on all sides, take care of this, know that the work should look professional and smooth visually. Next, keep pages very minimal, not filled with too much information and always remember less is more. You could show more work during interview if you want but not at this point. Jethi, would you like to add anything? Keep the colors as minimal as possible, probably pastel shades. We all Desi guys are mostly loud, which isn't that much appreciated in Germany in general. A project could be 4 to 5 pages maximum. First page could be a render, second could be concept or design process, third could be a plan and at the fourth sheet you can have an exonometric or another diagram that showcases your project the best. So basically. The first page could show your rendering or the 3D modeling. The second page could highlight the way of thinking and approaching a design challenge. The third page could highlight your Adobe skills or presentation quality. Whereas the fourth one could highlight your post-production skills. 
Well, we are happy to share our professional work with you, but because it's confidential, as per the office regulations here in Germany, we cannot publish it in online like that. But if you have any specific question regarding your studies, a specific course, application procedure, or for your portfolio review, please feel free to get in touch with us via our website, wayoutwithus.com, and book a personal session with us. We'll be happy to help you and give you our best opinion. So before we move on, remember, there should be visual smoothness all through your portfolio. And do not forget, all these things that we just mentioned play a lot bigger role than you can imagine in visual perception and cognitive psychology. Do remember these things. Moving on to the most important topic, which is the timing of your application. Shubham, what should be the timing of the application? Well, if you're a master student, we would recommend you to definitely do an internship before you graduate. There's a possibility of Erasmus internship and in order to get to know in detail regarding the Erasmus internship, watch out this video. Well, a lot of people would be applying for jobs after you graduate. So it makes more sense for you to gain some extra experience while studying, probably via a semester break or the Erasmus internship. And this way you would have more practicality rather than wishful thinking of getting a job. Doing an internship while studying would be one of the top notch things that you could do in order to land for a better salary job and of course to not end up in the same pool like others. As a result, you would get a job very swiftly and smoothly. Well, let's talk about the other scenario when you are just a bachelor student and you're looking for an internship and you just think of applying in Germany. For example, your internship starts in February and so in that case, you should start your application by September. That means you have five months to prepare your application process. So let me take you through the timeline. For example, you start applying in September and by October get response from other architecture companies. In that case, you have given yourself some time to prepare for the interview and also the company to select you. In the meantime, you should also process for your visa application. For the visa application, there's a very important document which is called ZAV. It's a work permit for the student that the German company has to apply for you before you come here, which is a very important document for your visa application along with the contract. So keep in mind that you give them enough time to apply for you and also you will have enough time to prepare for your visa application and all the other things you need to prepare for before coming to Germany. And not just the visa process, you also have to make sure that you beat your other lazy competition with time. That's a very important point Shivam, thanks. Well, go check out our this video where we talk about life in Germany in general. So that you'll know all the important things you need to know before coming to Germany. Shubham, what is that question that we get asked a lot? Well, the question is, in what kind of offices should we apply? Should it be a bigger one or should it be a smaller one? Well, the straightforward answer would be try both. A bigger office would have a corporate push behind their name, whereas a smaller office is going to teach you a lot many things at the same time while giving you a lesson on hustle. So our straightforward advice is to try both of them and if not during internship, then after graduation. Mm -hmm. But being in any of the offices have different advantages. So try them all. Well said. And don't just limit yourself to online applications since networking plays a bigger role nowadays. Well, attend some exhibitions, architecture events, awesome conferences will engage with professionals in the field of architecture and seek guidance from your mentors remember networking internationally could lead to incredible opportunities not only to just improve your portfolio but also your outlook towards the undiscovered professional world well said shubham i think that's very thoughtful remember finding an architecture internship is a journey of self-discovery and growth Brush up your software skills, be the best person in the room, know how all the multiple softwares. But don't worry about designing, that's anyway very subjective and client related and also let's be honest, budget related sometimes. Well, believe in your passion, have the drive to succeed and work hard. And let's support each other, grow together first as human beings and then as a community of architects. Well, I hope you find this video meaningful. So give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss out on the videos in future. And please do share your experience and some questions in the comments and we'll get back to you for sure. And, 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 do not forget to keep dreaming bigger, presenting better and never stop creating. Thank you. Thank you.